Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome to Be Colorful. Today we will open the Tony Craft Kit 39. This monthly kit from Tonic Studios always contains a set of dice and stamps, a set of cards and some nouveau product, such as glitter, markers, nouveau drops, all carefully selected based on the theme of the kit. For more information of this kit, you will find the link to the Tonic Studios website below in the description box. The theme of the kit 39 is Pretty Peonies. In fact, the set of stamps and dice will allow us to create a decorative element featuring delicate peonies. The color palette of this kit shows the classic colors used for the peonies, pinks, greens, but uh, as uh, we will see, we find some ivory that gives a touch of uh, elegance to this palette. So let's take a quick look what you will find inside of the box, starting from uh, the set of uh, papers. We find a ivory classic card, an avocado green classic card, a pink satin mirror card, and a green one, always with a satin finish. Then we find a pearlescent card in pink, a pearlescent ivory speciality card with this beautiful embossed texture. Finally, the very special cotton paper from Tonic Studios. In this kit we are provided with a pack of 10 ivory card base and envelopes. I don't use uh, this uh, size, in fact uh, for some cards uh, I will cut uh, this uh, card base uh, in order to obtain uh, the format uh, I use, uh, which is uh, for and a quarter by five and a half standard size. So now let's move on to the nouveau product. In kit 39 we randomly get a bottle of green glitter, as in my case, or a bottle of pink sequence, which I already own. We also have an olive green crystal drop, a sample of dark pink nouveau sparkle spray, a light pink pearlescent crackle mousse, which, as you can see, has the particularity of uh, um, crackle when uh, dry, creating this fantastic texture. Finally, we find a peppermint glitter marker. Let's continue with the set of dice, exclusive for this kit. We find, uh, as already said, some dice that allow uh, us to create floral decorations, peonies, in fact. This uh, set can be used for many occasions, from birthdays to weddings, for example, and, as we will see, it is also quite versatile in style. It is suitable, for example, uh, for easy and essential card or elegant and rich in details. We will see how to use it for card with a classic or vintage style, or a little more modern and graphic. And this was the die set. We finish uh, unboxing with the stamp set, which contains uh, a lot of sentiment, some uh, of which are coordinated with the dice. And a floral corner stamp. Well, this is uh, the Tony Craft Kit 39. I remind you that uh, dice and stamps cannot uh, be bought separately for all the other products in the kit and uh, that I will use in the video, you will find the list with the links below in the description box and on my blog. 
if you are interested in any of them. But now it's time to start creating our cards. With the first card I'd like to show you how to stretch your dies by using them not only to die cut but also to create a embossing texture. For my card base I will use one of the ivory cards included in the kit. So first of all I get a panel of 11.4 cm by 15.8 cm, which is the same size as the card base. To use the die to create uh, embossing on paper, we need special pads for the die cutter machine. In my case, which I own a C6 Big Shot machine, I'll use these two mats the impression pad and the silicone rubber mat. Follow your die cutter machine instructions for the embossing with dies. Ok, now I'm going to position the dies in the main panel and I'm gonna prepare my sandwich, opening the big shot platform on the face number one. I will reverse the sandwich from the instructions so I can see where I'm placing the dies. So I put the impression pad, the silicone rubber, the paper, the dies, finally the acrylic plate. So I proceed to emboss. The effect is identical to that obtained with embossing folders and this technique allows us to take full advantage of our dies also for embossing. On another panel I'm going to emboss again by creating exactly the same figure. I decided to color a part of the image using ink pads and blending brushes. One peony will be in yellow. And the leaves in green. In this case I'm using a very small blending brush. With darker colors I'm going to define some parts of the image. Finally, with a light blue, uh, I'm going to color the background. Once the coloring is complete, pay no attention to the fact that uh, it is uh, partial and uh, I went off uh, the edges. In fact, for my card, I use only the colored part which will be framed by a frame. But uh, let's proceed in order. To create a frame you can use any nesting die that you have in your stage. Rectangle, circle, oval, squares, uh, with decorated edges uh, or smooth dies from old kit. Uh, so the sky is the limit. I'm going for some labels. I'm gonna choose uh, the most uh, suitable size based uh, on the part of the design that uh, 
I'd like to use. With a pencil, I'm going to mark the borders of the image that uh, I want to use and cut out following the lines, also leaving a small border. Now I'm gonna create the frame with the same die that I used uh, to mark the outlines and another slightly larger one. I'm going to die cut the frame on the pink satin paper of the kit, aligning the two dies as best as possible. Leaving the dies together, I'm gonna create two more frames on white cardstock, which I glue one on top of the other, thus obtaining a very thick frame, like a chipboard. So I glue the frame on my focal point, then glue it on the panel, matching the background design with the one inside the frame, thus creating a sort of continuity effect of the image. Let's move on to the sentiment, for which I'll be using this stamp from the kit but I will modify it slightly in order to create a small banner that goes from one side of the frame to the other. Before stamping the four, I'm going to cover the part of the stamp that I don't need with masking tape, dab the stamp with black ink, I remove the masking tape, and stamp. Being a slow drying ink, in order to avoid disasters, I do a hot embossing with clear embossing powder. I'm also going to cut out the black lines to create a strip of paper adding finishing edges with the pink satin paper. I'm going to stick the sentiment on the frame, but to bring the sentiment to the same level as the frame, I'm going to glue on the central part three pieces of uh, white uh, cardstock. And with the dye of the kit, I'm gonna create a small satin uh, pink butterfly to decorate the card, gluing it on the right side of the sentiment. So I'm gonna stick the panel uh, on the card base with double-sided tape. Finally, I'm going to add some uh, finishing touches by gluing uh, some uh, pink uh, sequence here and there, thus ending this first card. The second card I'm gonna propose to you will be a threefold window card. So I'm going to create the card base, for which I will need two card base that I'm going to assemble in this way, creating a threefold card. To make it easier to close, I just chop off a small piece from one side of both cards. As I said in the beginning, this will be a window trifold card, so uh, now I'm gonna create the window using one of the coordinate dice from the kit. You can make uh, this card with any die coordinated with uh, its uh, intricate die, as in this case, or uh, coordinated uh, with stamps. Or you can use a basic die, rectangle or circle, uh, for example, and uh, on the inside uh, stamp a nice large stamp 
or glue a die cut. The image will not be seen uh, on the outside, but will be revealed when the recipient opens the card. Returning to us, I proceed to create the window on what will be the external face of the card base. Also on this face, I'm going to create a very soft background using a stencil with a simple uh, polka dot and spreading a light pink ink with a blending sponge. Once the whole background is covered, I recover the part of the die cut, made a little while ago uh, on the card base, and use it to make my focal point. First, I'm going to use this base to create the outlines of the image, die cutting it with the appropriate coordinated die. Then, on some watercolor paper, I'm going to die cut using uh, only the intricate die. And now I start coloring, leaving all the pieces in place. To color my focal point, I will use uh, various mediums the Nouveau Aquaflow pens which are uh, brush-tipped pens uh, equipped uh, with a um, tank inside which uh, the water-based color is contained. You can use a normal watercolors, of course, or any other medium you prefer, markers, pencils, uh, acrylics. I'm coloring the smaller peony in yellow using uh, an orange to create uh, the shadow areas. Another medium uh, I will use is the crackle mousse from the kit, which can be used as a, a watercolor by diluting it with water. To darken up some parts, I'm going to add a drop of dark pink Aquaflow pen. Another medium in the kit that can be used as a watercolor is the sparkle spray, which I'm going to dilute with water. The last medium I'm going to propose you for uh, this watercolor is the glitter marker. Being a water-based color, it uh, can be used for this technique. I'm going to add some brown to the center of the flowers and since the pink flowers have quite a bit of sparkle from the sparkle spray which contains a thin silver glitter, the poor yellow flower need just a touch of light too. So I'm going to add glitters with the Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen. Ok, next that I have finished the coloring, I'm going to cover the back of the 
image with uh, some double-sided tape adhesive. I'm going to remove the protective film and glue the base, which I die cut off screen, always with the coordinated die. I'm going to glue the outlines that I have die cut before. If you noticed, uh, during the coloring, I went out of the borders, uh, not because I'm a beginner, I am, but because I had already planned to glue uh, above the colored drawing these outlines so as not to have to pay too much attention and precision during the coloring. In this way, I'm going to cover up all the imperfections, redefining the image. Now I'm gonna cut out the axes following the edges. And the focal point is ready. Now I assemble the trifold card, gluing the two card base by applying double-sided tape adhesive to the back of the right card to then attach it to the inner side of the left card. And the card base is ready. Now I'm going to glue the focal point inside, positioning it exactly at the outer window. And this is the window trifold card. Opening this card is a very special effect, which will surprise those who receive it. I just have to add the sentiment by stamping on your birthday of the set included in the kit with a dark pink ink. Cutting out uh, by following the borders and glue it so that the right uh, side remains floating inside the window. I finish the card by adding some uh, pink uh, sequins here and there. In the last card of this video, I will create a background with the crackle mousse. One way to apply it is to spread it with a brush. So I proceed to spread the crackle mousse on a panel of watercolor paper, making vertical movement with the brush. In some places, I'm going to apply thin layers. In order, I apply thicker layers. To create slightly thicker layers, I'm going to use a spatula. Once dry, you will notice the differences in the cracks of the crackle paste based on the different thicknesses you have applied. And this is the dry background where the crackle paste created this beautiful texture. I also added a few drops of uh, sparkle spray, just to add some interest. Now I cut out the panel to form a 4 by 5 and a quarter rectangle. So I'm going to prepare the card base on 300GSM ivory cardstock in a standard size that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half.
having cut out uh, the background panel slightly smaller than the card base, I can create uh, some uh, finishing borders uh, using the pink pearlescent and paper from the kit. I'm going to cut out a four and a quarter by five and a half panel, and just uh, to save uh, some paper, I'm going to cut out the middle part. I glue the edges to the card base and to keep everything nice and level I'm going to glue some pieces of leftover card in the central part where there is the gap. <laughs> Ok, I decided to give uh, the edges of the background panel a uh, distress uh, look, so I ruin the edges with the help of a special tool, the paper distress. You can also use the blade of your scissors, being very careful not to cut yourself. I don't hide uh, that you will find uh, scraps of paper everywhere, but uh, I assure you that it is less uh, annoying uh, than glitter. Maybe. So now I curl up the upper left corner and the lower right corner, just to give another touch of uh, aged <laughs> paper. I'm gonna glue the panel to the card base with double sided tape adhesive and liquid glue. And let's move on to creating a decoration which will add a floral details to the card but will not distract too much from the background and sentiment as you will see. Then on white cardstock I'm going to die cut two of the intricate floral figures using the precision plate from C6. To cut out the image along the borders I'm going to use the coordinated dies making partial die cut. In this way, this uh, die cut will remain in one piece. I'm going to glue the floral banner onto the background panel. And I move on to the sentiment, for which I decided to use the tag-shaped stamp together with the tag-shaped die. I'm going to print the sentiment on ivory cardstock with the onyx black Versa fine ink and do a hot embossing with the clear embossing powder. In this way the stamp becomes waterproof and I can color the peonies with the crackle mousse. And the leaves with the olive green crystal drop included in the kit. Next I'm going to die cut the tag on pink pearlescent paper and cut out the sentiment following the black outlines. To give the impression that I have cut the tag perfectly, a little trick, color the edges with a black marker like this. I glue the sentiment over the pink tag which will cover the hole, so I also create it in the sentiment tag 
using a hole punch. On the tag, I'd like to apply a ribbon, but as usual, I can't find any color that matches the colors of the card. Solution? White ribbon. Crackle mousse diluted with water. And here is a ribbon with the right color. I'm going to thread the ribbon through the hole in the tag. Shorten the end with an oblique cut. And glue the tag on the card. As a finishing touches, I'm going to create a few drops with the olive green crystal drop of the kit. And as ending, the third card. Well, this was the last card for today. If you like, write me in the comment if you like the technique of uh, embossing with dice and if you will try it to create your card or if you will try to watercolor with different mediums compared to the traditional watercolors. If you liked this video, leave me a nice uh, embossed thumbs up and I give you an appointment to the second part of the video where we will create other fantastic cards with the Tonic Craft Kit 39. Thank you for stopping by, see you next time and be colorful!